say and spell your names for me? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> My name is Mark Dawson, M-A-R-K-D-A-W-S-O-N. And I'm Adrienne Hannert, A-D-R-I-E-N-N-E, last name H-A-N-N-E-R-T. Cool. And what neighborhood do you live in? We live in Rondo. Um, and when you, what comes to mind when you think about coming in Rondo or Rock Town? <laughs> Since uh, I feel like we kind of know, we kind of know what you're getting at. No. Um, well, there's lots of been lots of recent like gardens and community gardens mm -hmm. in the neighborhood. Um, both with Frogtown Farms and all the cool gardens that have spotted with the Urban Farm and Garden Alliance. So I think of like trying to grow more food. Yeah. I think about the co-op, the Mississippi Market, because it's mm -hmm. there and close and yeah. we go there a lot and it's nice to have a neighborhood market. And think about like some of the like the What's that night market that I've never been to? That's <laughs> yeah, they have. You know, I think it was one of the farmers markets that used to that were on University or are on University. Yeah. And she no, I like what she said. Okay, and just to expand on one of your ideas uh, or things you brought up, we talked about uh, a lot of gardens, a lot of urban gardens. And what what created those, or like how did those come about in such strong force to make you mention them? Well, I mean, I feel like we're we're super aware of it because we live adjacent to a community garden that we're, you know, uh, kind of integral in. But also just like since we've been at the neighborhood, we've we've lived here for 10 years, almost 10 years. And we've seen a lot of vacant houses, vacant properties that have been turned into yeah. garden space. Like that wasn't the case right. when we first moved here. And so, I mean, we're we're I think we're aware of it in that respect. And it's it seems like it's a neat way to like have community come together yeah. over like food and positive, healthy things versus coming together over, over negative yeah. issues that they're complaining about or trying to resolve. Yeah. So, and you say you are you know, played an essential role in one of the gardens. Can you talk about which garden that is and how do you play such an essential role? I don't know, you mark do oh, it since okay. I always am the one that answers that. Okay. <laughs> um, it is the Victoria Community Garden and we actually And where is it located? It is at the corner of Victoria and Concordia. I think so. Yeah. Victoria and ninety four, yeah. basically. I don't I don't it's remember Concordia. the name of that street. Yeah, Concordia. So you live right now. I live on yeah. live on Carroll. We uh, Adrian and I live next door to the vacant lot that was there and we ended up buying the lot once the house that was there was raised by the city. Um, and we bought the lot thinking that it would be nice to have it be some kind of community green space. And then we met Melvin and Metric and um, and that was like nine years ago and yeah. started talking about community gardens and like started to, you know, was, we're inspired by what like Melvin was doing and he helped us get connected to lots of resources and it seemed like actually the more stuff was happening in the garden the more it really like yeah. people stopped by and like kind of at the same time all the kind of alliance more formally stuff was happening pe more people expressed interest in how they could grow stuff in the garden cool and do you all uh, grow, grow a lot of stuff in the garden or is it mostly other people it's mostly other people right now it's we used to grow, grow more and then we had kids and now we grow some stuff in the ground and then yeah. Embarrassingly, sometimes we just end up buying stuff as a store. I mean, you know, yeah, someday we don't. we're going to go back. We're aspiring. I mean, you know, yeah. as gardeners in the past, before when it was just us and we ate vegetables at home, we would grow stuff sometimes and eat it. And then when our kids became picky eaters, we grow we, less. We, yeah. <laughs> but we have, we have big plans to, yeah, go, back get, to go back to it. But we grow some stuff. You yeah. know, us don't. And if uh, there was a cookbook of us that focused on your neighborhood, Frogtown and Rondo. What's that? If there was a cookbook that focused on oh, Frogtown yeah. and Rondo, what are some of the things you would like to see in it? Oh, I mean, I just think I, based on like all the different like ages and backgrounds and cultures and diversity of the gardeners in our garden, I just think it would be great to see like a variety of yeah. people's favorite recipes in it. I think. I don't, wouldn't feel like we need to focus on 
one thing in particular and just rather than like people that are gardening in the neighborhood and what their favorite recipes yeah. are would be cool. cool. Anything else you'd like to add about food and access to food and food and Rondell's area? I just like how much, you know, how it's continued to, I don't want to say growing, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly, right? You know, it's great to see how much conversation yeah. can happen around. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Awesome. All right, thanks.